Hey yo, welcome to T-Ram Entertainment. I'm T-Ram and today I'll be doing a speed draw of the core refresh with all of Draculaura. And I have a couple things to say about the Monster High sequel that came out on Thursday. So while the speed pen is going, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the movie and how I thought it went. I've been keeping tabs on G3 ever since it was first teased because Monster High is very near and dear to my heart, so I wanted to see what they were going to do with it, especially after the G2 reboot. And I will say that it definitely was different. I don't hate it per se, but all of the designs and things were not necessarily my cup of tea. And I was watching the reboot show for a little bit, but then I stopped. I might finish watching it or watch a couple episodes one day but as of right now that's not really happening. I also watched the first movie the very same day that it came out and it was it wasn't too bad you know it was all right. It wasn't as bad as I really expected it to be. I think I was really like enhancing how terrible I thought it was because I just don't like to see things that I really enjoy being rebooted but you know it was a mediocre movie. It wasn't as bad as it was made out to be. They had some terrible security though. And I was kind of surprised because this movie did a whole lot better with keeping things under wraps because though some of the characters did get leaked early on, it didn't really have the whole entire movie's premise leaked and the entire unedited version didn't get leaked like with the first one. So props to them on that. Now on to the actual story of the movie. It was pretty good. They definitely did better than the first movie. Torlai was my favorite character, and this might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but Torlai was technically pretty right. Like, she wasn't wrong about the race silver, and she was a little bit mean about it, but the witches were, in fact, evil, so we can't blame her for that one either. And after she heard about what happened to Draculaura, she stopped everything to go up and help them, so really, she was the one that was mainly in the right the entire movie even though she was doing a little bit too much at the beginning. I don't really have much else to say about the plot. Um, I still cannot and probably will never get behind Claudine and Deuce together. And I think that there's some disconnect between the show writers and the movie writers, but they were apparently producing both the show and the movie at the same time, so I won't really blame them for that. In terms of songs, You Don't Know was my favorite because Torlai ate the girls up. Uh, Claudine wasn't bad in it either. And I just want to say in the first one that the best songs were Here I Am and Spark. And I'm running out of time, so that's all I have to say. But um, you should go listen to those two songs, especially Here I Am, because Here I Am was the best song that they ever created for the movie. Bye. Have a blessed day. Deuces.